All right, so here it is, the balancing robot David and I have been working on for about three days now. It's got a uh, 3D printed body. That's three layers. Um, can't see from this side. Two parallax continuous servos driving the wheels. And you can see the two sensors um, between the servos. It's a gyroscope and an accelerometer. Um, the gyroscope is three axis, but we're only using two and the gyroscope is only a single axis gyro. On the top of the first plate there's an Arduino Mega and a USB host shield which I use to connect a PS3 controller to it. <clears throat> there's a lithium polymer battery and some big wheels made out of wood with some foam on them. That's about it. Now, <clears throat> the, unfortunately the servos have um, a little bit of slop in them, especially when they're near their zero point and uh, more importantly when you try to reverse direction on a servo it tends to do so very very violently so no matter how well I tune this and use a filter it still will not settle at the top as you can see it's just sort of rocking back and forth but it's pretty good now that I'm running a two pass Kalman filter instead of just a single pass and then otherwise um, the rest of the control is done by a single PID loop with the D turned off because the D causes insane oscillations I can tune the P and I ter terms with these knobs. So if I turn P really high up, you'll see that it it has a bit of a seizure. And will probably fall over at some point. And if I turn P off and use only I, you'll see it just has huge oscillations. It just gets way out of control. It, I have to hold it because it will fall over immediately. But it would just rock back and forth like this. But if I put uh, the I up pretty high and the P at a reasonable level, it's relatively stable for, uh, given how bad the, ser uh, the continuous servos are. But um, sometimes it tends to get into really big oscillations and it just rocks back and fo forth on the floor, going a couple feet until it falls over. Which leads to the next thing. If it goes past a certain angle, it just shuts off the motor. So I think it's about 30 degrees. And if you bring it back within the acceptable range, it turns back on. So if I stops, falls over, if I pick it back up, it turns right back on, stands up. So that's it. Um, the next thing I'm going to try is uh, the two pass Kalman filter has eliminated almost all the noise from the accelerometer but the gyroscope could still be giving me some pretty severe spikes. So I'm hoping to uh, try to truncate some of the noise I know to be well with, uh, beyond possible ranges in the second pass of the Kalman filter, which means that I might be able to eliminate some of the twitching and also allow me to turn up the D parameter um, in the PID loop. Because right now, if I turn up the D at all, it just goes nuts because there's way too much noise. There's surprisingly little noise for how much it affects the D term. Because, uh, well, actually, I'm not sure why. I haven't been able to figure it out. But if I can get this to stand up for a second, I wrote a program in processing. That should come up in a second. Yeah to show uh, the blue line is the angle determined by the Kalman filter and the red line is the uh, accelerometer only. I don't have any direct readout from the gyro. But that gives you an idea of how stable the, the filter is. You see it's only moving a tiny bit. And that could be due, well I know it's due to the servo so having very little uh, resolution at their, when they're near the set point. But other than that, it works pretty well. It's just sitting there. I'm going to try to figure out how to drive it with the controller with how it's causing it to just fall over, but I have yet to successfully do that. And stop this incessant rocking somehow. Oh, now the piece too low. Yeah, that's pretty good. Anyway, take one. Hopefully we'll be able to figure out how to make it stop jittering.